Welcome to watching a video review of the Parkside PDM 600 Lite, which I will present after a month of use. The lathe is not in its original condition. Some components are of such poor quality that they don't even fulfill the hobby purpose of this device. But let's go step by step. The main problem with the lathe is the tool holder which was broken after a few uses. The first problem was its insufficient locking where the holder was released during large vibration. Then the rotate holder could catch the workpiece which happened to me a couple of times. The tool holder is only fixed with these plastic screws. As we can see the screw is rotating. The problem is a stripped internal thread where the screw moves through the thread as if there is a hole. This part is made of soft materials and the thread is easily deformed. This problem occurred after about two weeks of use. The tool holder originally looked like this. Even then I had to seal the holder with paper. Finally it's cracked. The holder is made of aloe, which is brittle. Therefore I expected the whole wall to be thinker. However, I was wrong. In the end, I made the holder myself from materials I found at home. I used a screw with a large diameter for locking. I sealed the gap with a plumber string. The engine power is 515 watts, which is sufficient even for turning hard wood or wider diameter workpieces. Turning on the lathe is done with a simple start and stop switch. The speed spindle can be regulated from 800 to 3000 rpm, which is a good range. In documentation for late is a graph speed spindle. The graph is a very wrong. The speed must be higher than indicated in the graph because the engine stops during turning. Plastic body tailstock are rated as a big minus. A resting lever has to fix tailstock. When the lever is on one of the side, the tailstock is fixed. If it is in the middle, it can be moved. With large vibration, however, the lever often releases and returns to the center. And the tailstock moves, which is a quite dangerous. When turning long work pieces, the tip part of the tailstock vibrates, which causes the rotation accurately of the work pieces. However, there is no problem with turning short pieces. Clamping can be between the tip and tailstock, as in the case, or with a clamping plate. To remove the tip, two case are included which were bent after a few uses. Wrenches are needed to tighten the screws opposite each other to lock the spike or the clamping plate. Spike look like this. Spike is fine, just somewhere of paint. Further we can fix the clamping plate on the thread. How we can see it slightly damaged because it is made of aluminium which is quite soft. Aluminium screws are including for fastening to the board which I didn't even use because even when pre drill the hole it easy to bend them. I therefore use ordinary plasterboard screws which do not require pre drill and hold much better. Then we just screw in the clamping screw and trigger it. The included chisels are blunt after a few uses and need to be sharpened. However, sharp ones do not last long. 
Therefore, we creating grooves and shapes elements, I often use better carving chisels. The surface is not so rough. Next is shown working with a lathe.